All right, hello, wine drinking people. We are back, and uh, organic wines really were a buzzword, uh, you know, like 10 years ago. Today, a lot of producers uh, turn organic, sustainable, or uh, even biodynamic if they're, you know, going way out there and saying, you know, we're going to try to, you know, make it as the vineyard as healthy as possible. You know, just like with human beings, if you give people antibiotics all the time when they get sick, it's going to break down their natural immune system. They're not going to be able to fight disease. The same thing with the vineyard. You know, if you spray herbicides and pesticides and fungicides all over the vineyard for years, it's going to wear away at the vine's natural ability to fight disease and things like that. So people have figured these things out. Every great producer all over the earth today making wines uh, very conscious about what they're doing to the vineyard. So organic, that buzzword now is becoming you know, kind of an everyday thing. You know, almost every producer that comes in here, you know, certified organic on their way there, or like I said, even further biodynamic. But, uh, you know, these wines market as organic. Uh, usually in the past that meant inferior wines, and sometimes it still does, kind of like what we had here from Spain. And not that they were bad wines, but I would say not very exciting from this Lobiti Lobitia. Uh, Lobataya, Lobataya Chardonnay from Tierra de Castilla, one of the, the largest wine region in the world, right there, smack dab in the middle of central uh, Spain. Kind of fresh and clean style of Chardonnay with a little green apple fruit, lemon citrus, and uh, you know, short but pleasant finish uh, for twelve seventy five. You know, maybe these wines at eight ninety nine, I would have been more impressed. But uh, the Lobita Viognier, uh, nice light lychee nut and white peach fruit, kind of. Uh, <clears throat> on the nose, a hint of perfume and floral, but really light with this wine on the palate. You know, kind of leaves the tongue refreshed, not heavy at all, but just like I said, really light. Okay, the Labita Syrah. Uh, this wine had some plum and cherry fruit on the nose. Pretty simple and pleasant, light and fruity wine at best, and, uh, you know, fine stuff if uh, that's all you have to drink. But 1575, I'm expecting a lot more. Uh, and then the Labita Roble which uh, I'm guessing this is a blend here. I forgot to take notes on that, but, you know, as impressive as these wines are, maybe I just I kind of lost interest at the last one. Not bad wines, like I said, but, you know, for me, I'm expecting a lot more for $17.25. All right, we're getting ready for our pairings event at the Broward Center, and our next supplier gave us a little preview of what's to come at that event. 